The Cleveland Browns seem to be flying under the radar despite strategically enhancing their roster. It is almost baffling that they aren't dominating sports headlines given their calculated moves on offense and defense. This team is quietly becoming a formidable opponent for the next season, and they haven't even reached the draft yet. That alone should be a hint of the storm that is brewing. So last year, the Browns concluded with a commendable 11-6 record, securing a playoff berth as the fifth seed. Achieving this was no minor accomplishment, particularly with challenges such as recruiting Joe Flacco unexpectedly to play. Though their playoff journey ended sooner than hoped, the season revealed much about the Browns' depth and tenacity. Let's delve deeper into the Browns' offensive tactics and some pivotal acquisitions they've made. But first, if you're new here, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button for more insights on the Browns during the offseason. Can we hit 100 likes for this video? Reflecting on the 2023 season, the Browns experienced a roller coaster year. Despite the ups and downs, they showcased their capability by securing a playoff spot with an 11 6 finish. It is remarkable how they achieved this, especially with the quarterback position, seeing various players. Their playoff experience, while brief, provided valuable lessons. Bringing in Joe Flacco as quarterback during the playoffs might have looked like a last resort, but it demonstrated the team's flexibility. Although this move contributed to their early exit, the lessons learned are invaluable. With more consistency in the quarterback role, the Browns are poised for deeper playoff runs in the future. Their resilience in managing injuries and unforeseen shifts exemplified their spirit last season. This resilience prepares them for future challenges and gives their fans much to anticipate. Next, we'll explore some key developments on the offensive front that promise to elevate the Browns game even further. Shifting our focus to the Browns offensive enhancements, the team has made some astute acquisitions causing quite a stir. The addition of Jerry Judy stands out as a significant move. By integrating Judy into their squad, Deshaun Watson gains a dynamic new receiver known for his precise route running and playmaking abilities post-catch. Judy is set to have a substantial impact, potentially giving his career a new lease on life with improved quarterbacking in Cleveland. The receiving corpse doesn't just stop at Judy. It was bolstered by the presence of Amari Cooper as the leading receiver, with emerging talents like Elijah Moore and Cedric Tillman adding depth. This group of receivers will enhance the team's passing game, creating more openings and enhancing the offensive strategy. Tight end David Njoku has proven himself as a key player. His impressive last season with nearly 900 receiving yards and six touchdowns places him among the elite tight ends in the league. His clutch performance and ability to make significant plays after the catch bring an additional layer of danger to the Browns' offensive playbook. On the ground, the return of Nick Chubb from injury is a pivotal boost. Chubb's presence alone elevates the Browns' running game. With the support of Nyheim Hines and Deonta Foreman as rotational backs, the running game gains depth and flexibility, significantly strengthening the offensive setup. This revamped offense isn't merely about accumulating talent. It's about constructing a well-rounded and robust unit poised to take on the league's top defenses. With these elements aligned and Watson comfortably resuming his role, the offense's potential appears limitless, turning our attention to defensive tactics. The Browns have shown equal determination in beefing up this aspect of their team. Retaining Zadaria Smith was pivotal, pairing him again with Miles Garrett. Together, they establish an intimidating edge that enhances the Browns' pass rush, capable of unsettling any opposing offense. Their prowess in putting pressure on quarterbacks is expected to be a cornerstone of the Browns' defensive strategy. The defensive prowess of the Browns has been significantly boosted by keeping Shelby Harris and bringing in Dalvin Tomlinson to fortify the interior. This combination enhances their run defense and supports their edge rushers by collapsing the pocket and pressuring quarterbacks into making quick, often flawed decisions. In the linebacker unit, the acquisition of Jordan Hicks on an economically favorable contract represents a fantastic deal for the Browns. Hicks' experience and capabilities inject leadership and a sense of stability into the center of their defense. Straight alongside him, the Browns are hopeful that Devin Bush will realize his full potential, bringing his athleticism into play to solidify a linebacker group that aims to be both speedy and powerful. The enhancements extend to the secondary as well. Denzel Ward remains a crucial player, effectively shutting down opposing receivers. 
Together with Greg Newsom and Martin Emerson Jr., the Browns boast a talented trio at cornerback capable of offering diverse defensive schemes and tactics to disrupt their opponent's game plans. Furthermore, the safety duo of Grant Delpit and Juan Thornhill is set to combine their skills to fortify the pass defense further, creating a more cohesive and formidable backfield. This strategic fortification across the defense, from the front line to the secondary, positions the Browns to contend and dominate by stopping their rivals effectively. The defense is designed to be comprehensive and resilient, ready to face off against the dynamic offenses of the upcoming season. With such a robust defensive framework in place, let's anticipate the integration of these strategies and players as the Browns head into the new season. As we look ahead to the draft and the upcoming season, the Browns' tactical preparations set the stage for an enthralling future. The team has already demonstrated significant potential with their off-season moves and returning talent, allowing them to concentrate on refining their strategy rather than overhauling it in the draft. The primary focus could well be on enhancing the offensive line. Strengthening this area could be the last piece needed, ensuring that Deshaun Watson is well protected to utilize his offensive arsenal effectively and that Nick Chubb has the openings required for impactful runs. An improved offensive line would elevate the Browns' offensive force and solidify their ability to stand up to the intricate defenses they will encounter. As we look past the draft, if the Browns can stay healthy and unified, they have all the essential elements for a significant playoff push. The balance within their roster, thanks to strengthened offensive and defensive units, positions them well to compete and potentially surpass some of the top teams in the league. This holistic team-building approach, focusing on securing immediate impact players and nurturing long-term prospects, should inspire considerable optimism among Browns fans. With the new season on the horizon, it will be fascinating to see how these strategic moves play out on the field, potentially lifting the Browns from mere playoff participants to genuine championship contenders. So with all the strategic pieces in place and a forward-looking vision, it's an exhilarating time to be a Cleveland Browns fan. The upcoming draft is bound to add even more excitement and is just around the corner. Considering all that we've covered, it's apparent that the Cleveland Browns are preparing for what could be a defining season. Their deliberate enhancements on offense and defense indicate a resolve to be formidable contenders in the upcoming NFL season. The team's depth, talent, and strategic planning point towards a promising year. Now, I'd love to hear your thoughts. What is your take on the Browns' offseason maneuvers and their prospects for the coming season? Do you think these strategic moves will propel them to the top of the league? Or are there areas you believe they still need to improve? How do you view the impact of their recent signings on the team's performance next season? Do you see the Browns as genuine contenders based on their off-season activities, or should they focus on other areas before the season starts? Given their current roster and strategic moves, how do you rate the Browns' chances in the upcoming NFL season? Don't forget to subscribe for more updates on the Cleveland Browns and everything NFL. Smash that like button if you liked the video and share it with other NFL enthusiasts to hear their views. Until next time, keep the discussion lively and your passion for football burning.